What's up guys and uh, welcome back to another stream with your boys Nantalos and of course the guy from the east the British guy I guess Liam what's up man welcome to the stream I'm doing all right guys happy to be here and enjoying some herbal tea oh yes herbal tea indeed all right today of course is a major unboxing of course of lightning overdrive which we'll probably go into more detail within a little bit but we have a quick announcement before we get started obviously we're doing a couple of collabs with uh, miss madison uh, i'm not sure when those videos will be uploaded but just uh, as fyi here in this video uh, we're going to be doing quite a few uh, versus rounds first and foremost we have a couple of these shining faiths um, myself, Liam, and of course, Miss Madison also has some shiny faves that we're going to be doing a versus round. Uh, see who's the luckiest of those unboxing for shiny faith. On top of that, we also have another unboxing potentially in the future, another versus with Miss Madison of Ghost from the Past. Not just Ghost from the Past, but also the collector's version of the Magic the Gathering, which uh, this Madison will kind of. Uh, gets control over and of course another shining faith that liam will be controlling as well so another triple threat match between all those little things so it's gonna be pretty exciting i'm hoping to have a, a drop more luck than uh, the possibilities of last one <laughs> yes yes all right guys before we continue of course if you guys want to see more of this definitely give us a like and support subscribe to our channel here in the collective and if you guys want to support us even further and want to be one of the first to see the, these videos join our collective by clicking on that join button all right guys so here it is the lightning overdrive roses rebloom apparently so obviously you, you know what that means it's probably gonna have some roses uh, or rose support cards in this box set. Obviously, nine cards per pack, 24 packs per box. Liam, what can you tell me about Lightning Overdrive as we look around the box here? With this beautiful, with this beautiful box, there are 30 packs per box containing 80 cards or 125 cards in the master set. It features one holographic rare, eight ultra rares, uh, that includes secret rares and prismatic rares. Ooh, prismatics. And also 10 super rares, 18 rares and 44 commons. Very nice. What, what What's the, uh, I guess the top two high value cards? So currently because it's a fresh set, there's not everything has a price tag, but the more notable ones at the moment are Liner, the Light Charmer, Lustrious, Starlight Rare. Wow. So not all of the um, Starlight Rares have been uh, priced out then. At least exactly. as of right now. Yeah, so yeah. I would assume, I would assume if given the uh, estimates, it should be about 100 roughly for Starlight Rare on average. Uh, some, of course, more than others. Um, and of course, those, those prices will change every so often. When this video actually is uploaded um, later, obviously the prices will, will definitely change from what, you, what we from what we see to what you guys see on screen. We have two boxes here. Liam, left or right side? Or should we? Should we we'll shuffle it. We'll shuffle it. Okay. Um, let's see. <laughs> Left side. Left side. <laughs> All right, we'll put this one to the side for now. We have, we have fun in this channel, guys. We have fun in this channel. <laughs> so the fact they have roses rebloom, it, uh, like obviously from what we saw in the uh, a little bit of the the box sets, um, there's gonna have a lot of support for like the uh, the rose cards. Um, you might have you might have noticed some when we were uh, unboxing the um, uh, what is it called the legendary duelist. They have some rose cards in there. Uh, there's a couple of, um, I believe there's some rose cards in the um, Blazing Vortex too. I'm not 100% positive though. Um, yes, but, it's uh, uh, following following the Blazing Vortex. There are support cards, and it's uh, this is the it is the fourth set in the OCG and the eleventh series. Wow. All right, is there more than one different box art? I think it's only one um, pack art. I think. That's kind of unfortunate. I, I like when you have multiple pack arts, but I don't see any different variety here. Like when I, the Ancient Guardians one, I, I really like their 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 um, art styles that they had in that. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll start on I guess the left side here. All right, All right here we go, guys. Now obviously we'll have a collector's counter and a um, money counter. Feature on there and uh, see if we can uh, maybe make our money back. Now these these packs um, obviously came out. Um, they were they, they came out to the price of around sixty dollars per box. So 
Let's see what we have here. All right. Now, definitely uh, the, the pronunciation, the, you know, don't, don't cringe when I when I get it wrong. All right. Uh, the Paleozoic Cambraster. Braster. Okay. The Starry Night. Oh, see, we have another star, star, Starry Cards. Uh, Starry Night uh, Zell. Or Zell. Or Seal. Seal, maybe, yeah. The AI challenge you. Ooh. The uh, Scrap Raptor. That's cool. And there's di some dinosaur cards. That's pretty cool. It's almost like a dinosaur machine card. Fiber dinosaur. All right. It looks like this is our secret rare, or su sorry, super rare. Uh, Ida, the Sun Magician. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll hold that value in a, in a second. The uh, Clock Art. The War Rock. Oh, they bring us the, the War Rocks back. Uh, Big Blow. Scream of the Br of the Branded. And one by one. All right. So this is a super rare. All the way down the bottom of the list there. <laughs> gotta, gotta make I you mean, work, man. Gotta make work for it. I not a problem. That's at the unsleeveable price of twenty four cents. Unsleeveworthy. Uh, that's unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Now, for those uh, this, if this is the first time watching our, our unboxings, obviously we only sleeve the card. For super rares, it has to at least break a dollar. Um, ultra rares, same deal, kind of a dollar, five dollar mark is what we look for for those. Um, but sometimes we, if it looks cool, if it's if it's super, we if it breaks fifty cents, we might consider it. Like a Pikachu. Yep, exactly right. <laughs> exactly. All right, next pack, guys. All right, ooh, S four. So they're bringing that the security forces back. Dog tags, machine type. Another Starry Night uh, Zell. The DDD <laughs> Super Sight King Zero Maxwell. Pendulum Summon. Ladies and gentlemen! Uh, amazement uh, Special Show. Ooh, this is a uh, an ultra rare. Pretty. Very pretty. The Amaze Attraction Horror House. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to that. Uh, Fuku Biki. <laughs> that's a funny looking card. It's almost like he's wearing... Looks like a, that's a Dragon Ball Z character right there. Yeah, it's like the, Piccolo. The green dude. Yeah, it's yeah. like Piccolo. What the hell? That's copyrighted. Okay, we have a ZS Arm Sage. The... Uh, Pharaoh Guardian Sphinx. That's pretty cool looking. The Hidden Spring of the Far East. Far East! <laughs> There's tea there either way. <laughs> now typically in terms of the Ultra Rares, there should be a, about four to six Ultra Rares, I would imagine, um, per, per box. But we'll see though, we'll see. That is a humbly sleeve worthy $3.04. Nice, definitely sleeve worthy. With that being said, we well, I, I got a couple of extra of these sleeves here. The Dark Magician uh, Dragon Knight. So we're going to use some of these for the sleeves for today. Um, I still have extras, so we we'll definitely want to see, save some for our future unboxings for the, uh, the structure decks for Obelisk the Tormentor and Cypher Sky Dragon. Uh, so that's going to be pretty exciting. That, uh, that comes out later this month. So definitely get excited for those when those come out. I mean, it, it kind of brings a lot of the nostalgia, uh, like fans, like myself and Liam, back into uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Like when it came out with the Toon Chaos, that's when I got excited. Because um, I, I love Toon cards. Um, so we'll, we'll, set, we'll definitely, see, especially with, um, th 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 there's new anime series right now in Yu-Gi-Oh called uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Sevens. Uh, me and Liam, we, we actually watched one of the episodes that came out, and um, we actually might do a future ups and downs for that as well. So definitely, if you guys want to see that, let us know in the comments down below. Boo Boo Game. It's a cool lo little animation. So how dare you? Ooh, Sun Valon. Or Sun Avalon. 
um, came back. Um, some more of those plant archetypes. Uh, Delphine, I think. The yeah. Dark Eye Nightmare. Uh, Bujin Candiens? Candiens? All right, a uh, super rare here. The Supreme uh, Sovereign. Uh, that's a lot of S's. Supreme uh, Sovereign Serpent of Gol 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 I think. I think that should be a card that should be put aside for future drinking games. <laughs> Good point. We'll put that to the side right for now. Uh, the Black Eyes, the uh, Plunder Patrol Sea Guide. And another maze attraction, Rapid Racing. It kind of looks like F-Zero. You ever play F-Zero F -Zero back in the day? F-Zero X, absolutely. Yeah. It's yeah. one of the uh, first kind of racing games that wasn't just Mario, that wasn't just a Mario type game. Oh, look. Yeah, Piccolo is back. And then another Arm Sage. That Piccolo be the Kyber Man of the deck. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. All right, so this car right here. Very cool little reptile, a level 8 boss monster, it looks like. So number 4, surprisingly only 36 cents. Ooh, not even sleeve worthy. But yeah. still a good laugh once you've had a few drinks. <laughs> yeah, agreed, agreed. Alright, so the one... Obviously, we're taking it kind of slow right now. Um, as, we, as we start seeing a lot more duplicates, we'll definitely kind of speed up a little bit uh, towards the end of the video. But right now, we're just kind of enjoying some of the artwork and uh, just, the, the, you know, building our collection here. Um, we have the uh, one Guri Way, Guri, the War Rock Generations. <laughs> nice, nice support cards there. Another CW card, the Pegasus Twin Saber, the Terrors of the Underroot. What is cool looking? I love some of these artworks, man. Alright, we have a super rare here. The Amazement Precious Park Field Spell. The Amaze Attraction Wonder Wheel. The World Soul Carbon. Alright. Wow. The Basel Basil? Basel? Rose Shoot? So another rose support card. And the oh spring it. Spring it booty. <laughs> That's some cool artwork. Number 58, surprisingly 16 cents. 16. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's okay though. Got plenty of packs to go. Still a very pretty card design. Yeah. So we have the uh Zaxel Alliance. The AI meets you. <laughs> nice. He's a friendly one. He's a friendly one. No copyright. Okay, uh, <laughs> amazement <laughs> special show. Uh, Scrap ra Raptor. The War Rock Spirit. Now, uh, if you remember that um, design from the previous packs. Um, so she, she's making a return right now in a, in a magic card. Or a spell card. Another of the, the Sphinx here. The Hidden Sprays of the Far East. The Amazement. The Carbon. Did we, did we miss it? Uh, it was the... Um, uh, oh, it was this one. That okay. one. Yeah, mm -hmm. War Rock. It was like... I don't even see that that was holographic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a low-key graphic one. I know. Let's see what it's saying for the waifu card. Mm. I would have considered it a waifu card though, because it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a spell card. True, true. Uh, Unsleeve worthy, twenty nine cents. Mm. As predicted, my friend. The heart of the cards is well attuned to you to realize this. I mean, we've been doing quite a, a lot of these packs, so we, we kind of have a, a, a general idea of what's going to be valuable. But of course, we could be wrong. We could be wrong. We could be pleasantly surprised. I reckon after another year or so, we could probably officially grade our car our cards as a company. <laughs> we know that much. Mm -hmm. We have like, I want to say 45 to 30 cards that still need to be graded. But right now it's way too expensive to, to send them out to get graded. 
Um, they say that they, they'll, they'll be opening up uh, PSA in July, but um, I have my doubts. The Spring It Brothers. The Judgment of the Branded. The S4's Dog Tag. Ooh, this is a cute little one. This could be a Pokemon for all we know. Um, Yamori Mori. That, that's definitely a Pokemon. Alright, super rare here. We'll put that to the side for a second. U-N-A-I. <laughs> <laughs> These names are so funny. Okay. Okay. The uh, Alchemofrite, I think? Or Frit? The Amazement Ambassador Bufu. Bufo. Bufo. <laughs> the uh, Zex Zexar Sexel. Entrust. In, in thrust, sorry. Alright, so this card right here, we have a uh, XC card. The Spring It uh, Merry Maker. They're definitely making the super rares like, a lot more shinier and around the edges. It's pretty cool. Instead of just the, the, the photo. It certainly gives more pop to the eye. That's uh, currently 34 cents. Hmm. Well, what I will say real quick is um, I, I do love the, uh, the centering right now. So far, there's not much complaints on the centering. We usually complain about that in uh, some of the earlier packs that we unboxed. Every time they just got better, I hope. I, I hope. I, I want to say it, it was bad centering because of the pandemic. So we'll just blame it on the pandemic. They, they were they were they were printing from home. <laughs> All right, terrors of the under under root. The Spring It Brothers, judgment of the branded. So we're starting to see dupes already. Uh, the S Force dog tags. All right, super rare here. We'll put that to the side. And there's Sphinx, an Arm Sage, the U and AI. This is a new car, I think. Binary Blader. It's pretty cool. All right, so super rare. We have the Proof of Proofless, I think. Proof Flas. They're currently at the price of twenty-three cents. Twenty-three cents. So far, the super rares haven't been very super. No, we're seeing so many of these uh, AI cards. Uh, one possible card would be called to spot, which would be me, myself, and AI. <laughs> they should. If I, if I don't see that, I'll be very, very upset. All right. Okay, tear it under root again. The Springer Brothers. Ooh, that's a new card. Is that an at sign? I was going to say, hang on. Damari at ing. Igniter? It, 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 is that someone's Twitter handle or, uh, or is Instagram that, handle? Or is that, or is that like maybe Alpha or something? Like uh, I don't know. You let, let us know in the comments down below. <laughs> That's interesting. The sky scor scorch, scorch, uh, Sid Sidhill. Ooh, ultra rare. Nice. We'll keep that to the side for a moment. The amazement ambassador. The clock art arc, the judge of the ice barrier. So obviously a, a nice card to match it up with the Trishulas in the earlier uh, structure decks that we unbox. Which of course, if you haven't already, definitely check it out. Link the right over there. Uh, and a more more booty, more booty. The ultimate Dragonic, Dragonic, uh, Utopia Ray. And I think this is actually the cover card. Yeah, this is the cover card. Ooh. That is uh, currently at the price of 92 cents. Ooh, the cover card only 92 cents. It's still sleeve worthy though, um, but not as high as we would like it to be. Is there a Starlight Rare version of this? Nope. No Starlight Rare version. That's kind of interesting though, because this, this is this is the cover monster. Why is there no Starlight Rare version of this? Unless there's another version of this that we're not seeing. Interesting. We'll keep that in mind, guys. That'll be like the first time we have, we have, a, we have a cover card monster and it's like the cheapest card in that whole set. It's like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I, I also never pulled a Starlet Rare version. Obviously, in, in the last unbox, we did pull my very first ever, what was it called? The Collector's Rare, the, the Skull Meister. If you guys haven't already seen that video, definitely check it out. Uh, but that was a pretty exciting pull. But let's see if we can actually pull my first ever. Well, technically, I pulled others, but never on camera. Uh, I, I, I want to pull on camera for you guys a, a Starlet Rare. All right, Mori Mori, the Sky Scourge, the Alliance, the Dark Eye Nightmare, and there was super rare here. Is that a scratch? What is that? It looks like it. Yeah, I think that's a scratch. Wow. Ooh. 
It's a good thing it's not super valuable. Put that to the side. The Sunvine Crossbreed. The Bukin uh, Hahitoshu? Sure. The Ambassador. Yes. <laughs> and the Clock Art. Alright, so this car right here. Yeah, I think that's a. That's a, that's a that's a terrible scratch actually. Uh, it's a new super rare, uh, Pendran Sanction. Obviously, cars like this we will never add it into the collective store. Um, it'll be something we'll probably kind of put to the side. But hopefully, we, we get another one of these cards so to add it to our collection because I, I typically don't like adding, having cards with scratch in my my main collection, my own collection, and and also definitely not on the online store. Um, but yeah, what is the price? Uh, it's a surprising 19 cents. Yeah, it's probably 2 cents now with that freaking scratch. It's amazing how it manages to appear in the pack. These packs feel different, by the way, in terms of like opening them. I don't know, uh, like, it's like, it's almost, it's almost like they're, uh, they're packaged by someone different. We have the Dogmatica, Dogmatica Alamity? Alamity? Yeah. Dog, yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds right. Who AI meets you? Hey! Mori Mori! The Spring and Brothers. The um, uh, super rare here. See, no scratches here. No scratches. Um, Lar 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 Larvar X Lord. We'll look at that later. Ooh, a new card here. The Star Mine. Synchro card. Another War Rock card. The uh, Mom Mud. And another clock arc. And a war rock big blue. Beautifully designed card too. Hopefully it's worth some money. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's the same price as uh, the previous card, 19 cents. Wow. <laughs> These super rares are not so super. These are all only prices that are about today. Could change. Exactly. Uh, these are, We have two more packs to include this one left in the left side and then we'll move on to the right side and we still got one more box still got one more box all right the uh, war rock generation the that card <laughs> the amaze attraction majestic merry-go-round it's a new card very cool actually hmm. The uh, Otoshidamachi. Machi. That's Another, a Pokemon. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much a Pokemon car right there, design. Ooh! Secret Rare. Alright, we'll put that to the side for a moment, guys. Alright, Judge of the Ice at Barrier. The Springit Booty. The Star Mine. And the War Rock. Mud map. Okay, now. Alright, guys. Secret rare. The amazement administrator. Uh R. Lee Kino. Kino. So beautiful. And it's a beautifully sleep worthy price at the moment of $17.84. Nice! That is definitely sleep worthy, my friend. Obviously, we're using the beautiful Dark Magician Girl Dragon Knight sleeves. That's a legit pull right there. That is Brilliant. a legit pull. It's a very good price too, 17 bucks. Now of course the prices may change of course, but that's the current price as of right now. But very very happy with this one. Alright, let's put that in the middle right here. And that was the second to last on, on the left, so we'll keep that in mind in the future. It, it might be, uh, we might see a pattern. That's why we like going to the left side, because I, I feel like the left side we always get some decent pulls. Starts us off with a bang. Indeed. We have the Judgment of the Branded. Another Scrap Raptor. Uh, Sun Avalon, Daphne. The Dan Murray, Mari. That one. That, that one. Ooh, this is a new card. Uh, this super rare. The Zaxel Construction. We'll put that to the side for a moment. But the Screams of the Branded. I think that's a new card. No. Is it not? Okay. Uh, one by one. Uh, the Black Eyes, the Plunder, and the uh, Rapid Racing. That looks beautiful, by the way. Yeah, the construction. This is number 51. 
Oof, not quite a sleeve worthy price, it's 39 cents. 39 cents. That's quite unfortunate. All right, moving on to the right side. Is right side going to give us another secret rare, potentially a starlight rare? Guys, definitely press a like for luck. All right, so we have the Pokemon right here. This is like pretty much like uh, what is that um, otter Pokemon name? Oshlot or Osh? Um, no, there's a starter Pokemon that also looks like it as well. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the one. That's the one. The starter one. The starter water, I think. I want to say like Gen two, Gen three, but it looks just like them. And it has almost the same name too. Well, not really, but good idea. Um, the uh, Amaze Attraction again. The S Force. The One Kuriway. Ooh, this is nice. Another super rare. We'll put that to the side. The Birth of the Prominence Flame. The Far East. The Judge. And the Star Mine. Okay, super rare link card. Sun Avalon. M Mel. M Melius? M Melius? Let's see, number 98. Currently at the price of uh, 27 cents. 27 cents. Next pack. These are all considered first editions, by the way, aren't they not? Oh, they are, yeah, they definitely are. Definitely are. So even though they might not be worth much now, give it, give it, give it like 5, 10, 20 years. <laughs> they might be worth something <laughs> later. Yeah, some more than others. All right, it, it, it depends on the meta, really. Um, so that bug Pokemon or Aqua Pokemon, the Starry Knight, the AI challenges you. E. Uh, the Scrap Raptor. Ooh, ultra rare. Nice. We'll keep that this side. And Piccolo's back. <laughs> The Sphinx, the Carbon, the Screams. All right, ultra rare here. Very nice. The let's see if we can pronounce this well. The really, really on, no, really on. The wondrous, uh, Majestus Witch Wardrobe. Very cute card, actually. Very long name for a card and still sleeve worthy at $1.44. Nice, definitely sleeve worthy. Uh, well, once you sleeve that, can we get another look at the uh, Piccolo card? May not, the Piccolo card may not be sleeve worthy, but it's adorable. What's up? This is this is Dad Piccolo and all his family and kids. Now, you can see he's kind of had enough. He just wants to go home. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Definitely watch those corners when you open up the packs. All right, the uh, Dark Eye Nightmare. The Terrors. The Brothers. The the at card. Follow me on Instagram. Ooh, nice. Another Rose card. Put that to the side. The uh, Bujin Mahitoshtu, I think. Sunvine Crossbreed. And Piccolo with his kids. And uh, the Sphinx. All right, Rose card, the Rocks Rose Dragon, number nine. That is a surprisingly unsleeve worthy 59 cents. Mm. But it is super rare, so it, 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 it actually is sleeve worthy at 51 cents. Boo Boo Game, the Sun Avalon, Daphne, the Dark Eye. So we're definitely seeing a lot of these cards make, make a reappearance. Ooh, this is a super rare. Potential waifu, but it's a war rock. For some reason, the war rocks aren't very aren't worth very much. Um, I'm not sure why yet. Maybe because there's no um, not much support for them. The uh, interest, the arm sage, the birth of the flame one by one. Yeah, that's why I noticed about these war rocks. Um, they, for some reason, there's not a lot of support for them, and that's why their values are not really super high. Um, but let's check it out anyway. Number 86. That is, as predicted, a 25 cents card. Yep, as predicted. But it, later in future metas and stuff, you know, there could be some more better compatibility with them to put the price up a bit more. I believe what um, I believe uh, um, Konami is trying to add more support for the Warrocks uh, archetypes, but right now, 
Not a lot of people are adapting it, I think. The Sid Hills? Dogmatic something? The AI meets you. The Yamori Mori. Ooh! Secret Rare! Nice, we'll put that to the side for a moment. Alright, the, the Carbon. The Screams. The Intrust. And the Arm Sage. Alright, Secret Rare, guys. Another Ooh. Rose card here. The Ruddy Beautiful. Rose Dragon. Number 35. Looks very, very pretty. That is an exceedingly impressive $16.13. Nice. Very, very nice. Definitely worthy of the Dark Mission Girl Dragon Knight. Gets her approval. Her standards are very, very high. <laughs> All right. Next pack. On the first box still. Yeah, yo. Still keep that hype and press a like. <laughs> Let's see if we can pull a Starlight Rare for you guys. All right, the um, the Alliance, the AI meets you. The Amazement Special Show. Let's go. Let's check out this design. The uh, Raptor, Super Rare, the Tribe Grade. Okay, we'll look at that later. The Booty, the War Rock Booty. Big Boot. <laughs> uh, yeah, we saw this already. And the Warrock Mahmood? Mahmood? Uh, it's uh, Mahmood. Mahmood. Alright, super rare. Tribe grade. Bear. Bear. Bear Brum? The Rampart. Ram. Ramp. 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 That's uh, a sleeve worthy $2.88. Nice. There is some print lines though, I noticed, but not as bad as what we have, so it might have lowered, lowered the value a little bit. But it's still sleep worthy. We have the Brothers of Destruction, the, the Judgment of the Branded, the Raptor, so Avalon, and we ha we got this card before, so we're not gonna go ahead and grade it. The uh, the War Rock Spirit, the Birth of the Flame, one by one, the Booty, and the Big Blow. Big Booty, Big Blow. <laughs> <laughs> hey. It's the kids' game. Very good. Very true. <laughs> we have the Generations. The Boo Boo game. The Dogmatica. The ZW Pegasus. Ooh, super rare. Or, oh, sorry, ultra rare. We'll look at that in a bit. The um, Rapid Racing. The Basal. Basale? Ro uh, Rose Shoot. The Black Eyes, the Plunder, the Amaze Attraction. Alright, Super Rare, or Ultra Rare. Potential Waifu card. The Amazement Attendant Comica. It's a very, very attending card to $1.96. Nice. Definitely sleep worthy. Some uh, some other upcoming announcements. We are also going to be doing the um, the chilling rains from the Pokemon side of the house later in the month of June. Now it kind of conflicts a little bit because I think that comes out the same day as the structure deck uh, on the 18th. So what might happen is we might have to do like one stream on 18th and another stream on the 19th. Um, Demary, S Force, the Starry Knight. The Triple D Super Sight. Ooh, another pleasure waifu card. We'll look at that later. All right. The War Rock. The Rabbit Racing, and the Rose Shoot. All right, super rare. This Stay Sailor Romarin. Romarin. She's a plant type. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Possibly not much uh, support for it either, as it's only 28 cents. Yeah. It's kind of interesting that she's a plant type. The only thing plant related with her is the fact that she has plants in on her dress. <laughs> There's currently eight secret rares. Okay. In this set. I don't know why I said currently. It's not like they're going to change it anytime soon. <laughs> 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 That's true, though. All right. Next pack. Here we go. The uh, AI challenges you. We're still waiting for the uh, you, you, myself, and AI. Where's that card? The King Zero Maxwell. 
the Pokemon, the auto. Ooh, super rare. Nice. Another ad card. Interesting. You and AI. The Hidden Springs. The Guardian Sphinx. And the Arm Sage. So super rare. The Dark Infant at Ignited. Ign igniter. Is that, that is an ad sign? A... Is that ad sign? <laughs> it's gotta be an ad sign. Uh, on the web page is an at sign. It's currently at the price of uh, 43 cents. Okay. Not quite sleeve worthy, but close. Very, very close. Last two packs, guys, on this first box. Let's see if the second to last one's got anything to say on this side. I know, right? We got the uh, Bane's Attraction. S-Force Dog Tags. Oops, too much. The One Curry Way. The Dark Eye Nightmare. The S Force Edge Razor, super rare. We'll look at that in a bit. UAI, the Binary Blader. That's, a kind of, that's actually a kind of cool name, Binary Blader. It has a nice ring to it. Sunvine Crossbreed. The Bugin. The rest of that word. All right. Super rare. <laughs> the S Force Edge Razor. That is kind of the price of uh, 30 cents. 30 cents. Not quite my favorite price tag, though. <laughs> Maybe add about four or five more zeros on that. Exactly. <laughs> but it still adds to the collection regardless. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. Final pack on the first box. We still got one more box left. Definitely stick around for that. Guys, definitely press a like for luck. All right. The Amazement Specials Show. The One Curry Way. The War Rock Generation. The SW Pegasus Twin Saber. Ooh, this is actually a uh, a cover art character as well, and it's also one of the the new charmers as well. She's a light charmer. All right, we'll look at that in a bit. The dark dark eyes, the plunder, the troll, the amaze attraction, wonder wheel, U and AI, and the hidden springs of the Fall East. This is only super rare, but I think there about to, there actually might be a collector's rare. Oh no, sorry, um, a starlight rare version of this. No, the the Luna, the Light Charmer, uh, lustrous. The very nice card, but surprised at one dollar and thirteen. Still sleeve worthy though for super rare. It's actually pretty high for super rare. All right, cool beans. All right, so that concludes the first box here. We're gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit and then we'll roll into the second box. All right guys, next box. Obviously this should be a lot quicker because I, I feel like we, we've seen a lot of the cards already. So I don't I don't think we have to like kind of harp too much into the cards. So we could probably do a little kind of fast forward in some of these uh, um, these cards. Now if, if, if I have to like kind of comment on the actual design of the box, um, I do like the, um, the Ancient Guardians box more. In fact, there's only one design in the pack arts. It's a little on the disappointing side for me personally as a collector. Um, but you know, that's just my opinion. You can always, uh, you know, have your own opinion on that. Branded. Ooh, this is a new card. Okay. So branded in white. New card, number 55. 30 cents card. Ooh, 30 cents only. It looks so nice though. Ooh, ultra rare here. The White Knight of Dogmatica. That's a really cool looking card, man. That's almost like Dark Souls. Doesn't it feel like Dark Souls? It looks like he's got a boss halfway through his uh, seventh health bar. That is a sweet and sleeve worthy $1.39. Very nice. Very nice. The one thing I will say about these, like, the, for some reason, the cards are always slid to the very top. That's why I'm always, like, sliding it back down. Oh, Ooh, new card. Nice. Okay, super rare. Actually, very cute looking, actually. All right, this is the Garden Rose Flora. Nice. Looks like a ghost card in a way, almost. But that's currently the price of forty-one cents. Ooh, it's pretty close for super rare. I, I like the way that, that looks, though. You, you like, like with the light shining on right now, kind of looks like a ghost rare. Ooh, this new card here. The Rank Up Magic uh, Zexal Force. They spring it. The War Rock. I feel like these cards are always next to each other. You notice that? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, new super rare here. There's a 43 cents card at the moment. Ooh. Very, very close. Alright, new super rare here. Nice. Expendable die. That is currently at the price of 27 cents. 27 cents. 
Ooh, new card here. Look at that in a little bit. All right, soup, uh, ultra rare PS Force Chase trap card. That looks very, very cool. Number 77. It's a super sleeve worthy $2.66 card. Nice. How do you feel about like, like factory error cards, Liam? I think they're a very niche thing. Uh, for Pokemon side, I once saw a video where a guy had a entire press of a Machamps. Mm. I mean, just, but he had it maybe <laughs> Let's let's stop that thought for a moment. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll continue we'll continue that thought after we price this secret rare, the Dark Honest. Nice card, number twenty two. That's a very cool card, waifu card as well. That is a beautiful twenty one dollars and sixty six cents. Nice. That's definitely our most valued card in this set so far. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we're I don't, I don't know if we broke um, our uh, the uh, re return investment, but we're we're getting very very close to it, and this card definitely helped elevate that. This is a very nice card. It's so I, well made. Uh, I, I, I completely lost my train of thought with it. <laughs> I actually, you know, this is actually one of my favorite art designs in this set so far. I'm not gonna lie, I really like this one. Not just for the wife aspect of it, but the way it looks, it's like the centering of it with the wings. It's the like a crown on her head also has like the little details on it too. That's beautiful. I know this is a nice, beautiful design. All right, <laughs> back to our thoughts uh, <laughs> on the <laughs> on the uh, factory errors. The, yeah, there was a guy that had a big press of Machamps, mm -hmm. and he, I can't remember the price he paid for it, but he paid enough for it to spend a lot of money getting it framed and. Uh, properly set because it's such a rarity mm -hmm. that uh, people would even be able to get their hands on something that's such rare. All right, so super rare. The uh, Amazement Family Faces. It looks like they're in a casino. No, no. I thought, they, I thought they were in a casino for a second, but... That is currently at the price of 22 cents. 22 cents. Okay. But yeah, so th these Machamps you were saying, are they, they were all factory error? Any? So you picked they quite were a bit. all... Basically, like uh, imagine a uh, like a medium-sized canvas, mm -hmm. and it is all just machamps that haven't been fully separated mm. from their factory presses. So before the, the big press would take it away, mm -hmm. someone managed to get a whole like uh, a big sheet of them. Ooh, another secret rare! Oh my god. Liam, keep talking. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, another secret rare that Drytron Move Beta Farnir, number forty-three. Wow, that's a nice card too. That is the MVP of the poll so far, my friend. Thirty-four dollars and eighty-nine cents. <laughs> oh my God! I, this is not. This is actually a really good pull, guys. Like, uh, like this whole set so far so i'm very very happy and obviously we have we haven't reached that bottom left corner yet so you never know starlight rare <laughs> yeah, it Come feels on. like it feels it it feels it guys we already pulled some pretty epic cards here but definitely press a like for luck oh yes Ooh, here he goes another super rare here the sw mm -hmm. dragonic um Halberd. And it's currently at the price of uh, 30 cents. Mmm, 30 cents. But at least it adds to the collective counter. Absolutely. The number has gone up one more. In the comments down below, let, let, let us know what your favorite cards are so far from the set. Let us know. Right now, my favorite is the Dark Honest card. Even though it's not Starlight Rare, it's it, it, the, the way it looks to me, is, it looks amazing. Completely in agreement. Like, e even my reaction where I just like halted myself through the mid-conversation. You know? Oh, wow. That's Ultra pretty. Rare. This is a very funky art design. Oh, this is the Live Twin card. Nice. This is the Live Twin uh, Key Shaquille oh. Frost. That's a very well pulled five dollars and fifty four cents, my nice. friend. Nice. That's actually a, one of the higher value ultra rare card, ultra rare cards that we pulled. He has a Starlight variant, my friend. Starlight variant. Interesting. A lot. A lot of the uh, the Live Twin cards always always have some kind of like special variant with them. Ooh, this is a new card here. 
The uh, Throne, the Disciplined Angel. It's a pretty cool looking card. Uh, surprising, 25 cents. 25 cents only. <laughs> but it adds to the collection. Can we pull a Starlight? <laughs> Can we pull a Starlight? Let's make it a thing. Let's make it a thing, right? All right, so this was the second to the bottom. You want to save this one for last? Let's do it. All right. Yeah. Let's see if our theory is right. That the second to the last on the left are usually pretty epic cards. It's not always true, but let's let, let's make it a game. Just a hypothesis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. Snapper. Snapper one. Snapper one. S4C dog tag. Ooh, we got this card already as well. That is super rare. All right. See, th these cards are always next to each other. I'm, I'm I swear. I'm convinced now. Just with the, it, it's happened too many times now. All right, guys. Last pack. Guys, press the like for luck. Press that like. Did you press it? The game is waiting. Well, no. <laughs> well, no. We know everything. All right. Special show. The Scrape Raptor. The War Rock Generation. The Boo Boo Game. And there it is, the Ultra Rare. A new card, actually. So not quite Starlight Rare, but still an Ultra Rare. So this is the Amaze Attraction, Clasco Coaster, number 71. Got that double loop on fire. Number 71 is a sleeve worthy $2.14. We'll take it, guys. We'll take it. All right, even though we didn't pull a Starlight Rare on video, it's fine, though. There's definitely more opportunities down the road right. especially as so many of the collection so far has been pulled yes i want to say we got at least 90 percent of them but i don't know we're going to move on to the other second camera and then proceed and talk about some of the pulls we got in today's video so yeah guys this is the highlights of today's pulls of course is the four secret rares obviously the the favorite of which is of course the dark honest I like this card so much, guys. If she was real, I'll marry her. <laughs> <laughs> she can she can fly me away to a a, new, a paradise, far far away to a whole new world. Oh, regardless, new, uh... <laughs> hey 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 hey, it's copyright. It's copyright. <laughs> but regardless, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously, I'm super dehydrated, super hot in this room. Um, it's it's Vegas time right now, so right now the weather is looking. At, it's averaging right now at 100 degrees right now. Fahrenheit. It gets really hot in here. And then the, the white lights beaming down on my face. That's why you see the sweat right now dripping my face. Uh, but regardless, this is all for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. The future videos that's up and coming is of course, we're gonna be pulling all of these bad boys. This Shining Faith versus Triple Threat match to myself, Liam, and a fellow, I guess, unboxer, unpacker? We're fellow, we're all fellow collectors at heart. Yes. Exactly. So another fellow collector at heart, Miss Madison, doing a triple threat of the unpacking of Shining Faith, as well as another unpacking featuring ghosts from the past versus Liam's Shining Faith, a different Shining Faith unboxing for him, and another collector's rare, or sorry, collector's version of Magic the Gathering. I can't remember the, the name of the pack for um, Magic the Gathering, for what Miss Madison was saying. It's pretty much $30 per pack, maybe, Ooh. if that's true, 25 maybe. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of nervous with that versus round, so she might take the win on that one. Definitely, if you guys enjoyed this video, give us a like. And of course, guys, definitely join the collective if you haven't already done so. That helps support the show. Liam, any closing comments? What is your, what is your favorite card from the set before we, before we conclude here? Favorite card is pretty much the beautifully made... The, the Dark Honest? The, yeah, that and the... Uh, the the funny piccolo card yeah you know, those two they're gonna be my noteworthy ones just purely because it was opposite ends of the spectrum but both equally eye popping but yeah guys that's pretty much all we got so we'll definitely see you in the next future unboxing obviously there's a lot of future unboxings in the channel we're gonna be doing the structure decks for obelisk tormentor and cypher the sky dragon we're also gonna be doing uh king's court we're gonna be doing chilling rains um we're also gonna be doing the ots packs number 16 when those are available for us and uh, much, much more in the month of June. Until next time, this is Talos and Liam signing out. Peace.